So here I'm in Blender and let's um, delete the camera and delete the point light and of course we need to delete the cube and then we'll bring in a cube so bring in a cube and I want to now bring in my reference so let's bring in a reference so and I heard under the primitives menu that we can find our references there so if I press shift a and I'll come down I've got one that says images that should be it and then I'll bring in this one that says references let's bring it in so here is my reference my market stall and let's bring it in and okay just need to move my cube around now so if I rotate my cube Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor and no, it's not broken, but make sure you stay till the end and um, because I want to show you something really, really great for if you want to reference in Blender. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will delete the cube. I'm going to actually delete my reference and then going to press one on the number pad and that then is going to put me in the front view straight on. Now if I press shift A and now bring in my reference, you'll see bringing my market stall, that it's perfectly aligned and now I can actually start building it. And what people tend to do now is they'll make it the size that they want it and then what they'll do is they'll duplicate it, so shift D, press the enter button, R, Z, 90 and spin it round. And what that means is now if they bring in a cube for instance, so let's bring in a cube like so, let's make it bigger. You can see now the reference from all sides, especially if we go into wireframe. So let's press Z, go to wireframe, and now you can see all around, and this is great for actual referencing. Now, if you want to change your reference, you can come over and click on your reference, come over to the right-hand side here, and you'll see this is where the image is actually stored. Now, I do want to show you something even better than that. If you're referencing something and you constantly need references like on your left-hand side of your screen and things like that, and you get a load of references together before you actually start building something like I do, then I've got something just for you. So first of all, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like, and then I'm going to show you where you can actually get it from. So here it is. This is the next actual course that I'm actually working on. And you can see here, it's a screen, and you can see that I can actually zoom out of it, and you can see that I can actually make these things as big as I want. So all I'm doing is left-clicking and dragging, and just pulling it out, and then I'm going to put them in place like that. I'm going to bring in hundreds and hundreds of images. The best thing about this, of course, is if I go to Photoshop or something like that, and then I click and drag this image, press Control C, and then go back to my reference, like so, and now press Control V, and hey presto, there we go, and now we can actually drag it out. We can also rotate it round, like so, and one of the best things is about this is we can actually come over Hold Control, Shift and A, so Control, Shift and A, and you'll see now it says Enabled, always on top. And now what happens is, no matter where I click on anywhere around here, I can actually just make sure this is always on top of my second screen, or even on my first screen, like in Blender. So let's move it down, let's put it over, over here, like so. And then I'll zoom out a little bit, and I'll just move them into place, like so. And if you want to zoom into one actual image, all you need to do is just double click it and there you go. And then you can zoom out like so. So this is really, really handy. So let's bring back up the blender now. And there you go. You can see how this can fit anywhere around the screen. And this is exactly what I use to actually do all my referencing and things like that when I'm building actually within Blender. The other thing you can do is if you hold, uh, come into one. So let's say we come into this one like so. And I hold the C button. So hold C, drag, click, and hey presto, you'll see that I can actually just crop it as easy as two clicks. So let's put that back. And the last thing I want to show you, if I come and I press Alt, Shift and H button, I can actually turn it horizontally. Or Alt, Shift and V button, I can turn it upside down. So you can see all this power is within there, just straight out of the bag. The other thing of course is that I can actually pull it down and just show you one last thing. If I right click anywhere around this, I can come down to where it says um, settings, open up the settings, and now I can see all of the keys that I need for doing particular things. And you'll see there's a ton of keys in here for the systems, for actions, and things like that. All right, so that's basically the demo of that. I found this not too long ago, and I thought I'd share it with you all. It's a great way to actually um, put your references in, make them smaller, bigger, crop them, all kinds of things, and add them actually on uh, your viewport ready to work. 
So where do we get this from? And here is where you get it from, pureearth.com. And I will put the links down below. I'm just gonna put this actually behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna press Control, Shift, and A, and you'll see always on top is actually disabled. Now I can click on it. So what you need to do is you just need to come to get pure ref. It is free. You can give them a donation if you want, but it's completely free otherwise. I did give them a small donation for me once I tried it out and I thought it was really, really good. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you found it useful. As I say, check out the links down below if you want to see what I do, see the courses, or even just to support the channel or something like that. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye-bye.